folks, we only give you the very, very best here on Channel 9, especially at this breakfast. And when you think of comedians, they don't come any better than this fella. You only need to say two words. Vince Sorrenti! Thank you very much. Let me hear you say hey! Super's going great. <laughs> no one's that lucky in these challenging times. Good morning, folks. Times are tough. I drove past a Kia dealership the other night. Had a big sign, 2009 Kia. No interest. I thought, gee, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Welcome to another snout in the trough. Grand final week. Big Vrecky, how you doing? And, uh, oh, aren't we all getting fatter and fatter, gang? The Prime Minister said obesity was a national crisis and looking around the room, I think he got that one right, for goodness sake. There's a few belt buckles hanging on for dear life in here, aren't there? I reckon by the year 2030, two out of three Australians will be four out of five Australians. Do some exercise. Golf is not exercise. Us wogs don't play golf. We look at all that grass, we think, what a wasted concreting opportunity that was. Oh, I can't wait for the big game, gang. I tell you what, here we go. It's another all-Victorian grand final, St Kilda versus Geelong. And, uh, yes, all-Victorian. I love the St Kilda area. It's one of my favourite parts of Melbourne. What a wonderful St Kilda was, you know. Patron saint of sleaze and winos. It's a beautiful area. And Geelong, one of those satellite cities that didn't launch far enough, if you ask me. But I know there's lots of out-of-towners here too. Hello, all the Queenslanders in the room. Queenslanders, welcome to Australia. How you going? <laughs> Difference between Queensland and yoghurt? Yoghurt has an active culture, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Now, I love Queensland. I went to uni up there. I went to Bond University. I did medicine there. Three-week course. <laughs> that Dr Patel, he was top of the class. I thought, yeah. Keep your eye on that bloke, I said to myself. <laughs> South Australians, are they here? <laughs> Get out of the shed. You've been there for about an hour. You used up all the pear. <laughs> you know, they moved David Hicks from Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, to Adelaide. <laughs> Come on, he's had enough. <laughs> he's had enough. <laughs> Any West Australians? Any cashed up chair sniffing bogans? How you doing? <laughs> Is your seat all right? Smells okay, does it, eh? <laughs> uh, welcome, one and all, gang. The Premier, of course, won't be here. He's over, in, uh, he's over in India, showing Indians what a tolerant people Victorians are. <laughs> yeah, couldn't take Michael Hurley or Brendan Bavola with him, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we love Victorians here. We've got suburbs, Nana Wadding, eh? <laughs> I love the Indian people, eh? They are a glass half full people. They've got a positive outlook on life. I love those hot curries. I keep my toilet paper in the fridge. I love that stuff. <laughs> but Indians are half glass full, positive people. You watch those Bollywood movies? Always got a happy ending, haven't they? If they made Titanic in Bollywood, the ship would come up at the end, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm not there. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> uh, my kids are very excited about the game. Of course, I've got four kids now, just to prove that I get home occasionally, four and the six. And Geez, they bring a bit of reality in your life, the kids. Walked into my kitchen the other morning, there was my girl, Michaela, six years of age, laughing, and a little brother, Tommy, laughing. And the comics love hearing the kids laugh. I thought, oh, how good is this, you know? And Michaela turned to me, she said, Daddy, who's got the best laugh, Tommy or me? I said, oh, Michaela, Daddy can't answer that question. You've both got a great laugh. I said, come on, Dad, whose laugh is better, Tommy's or mine? I said, Daddy loves hearing you laugh, Michaela. Daddy loves hearing Tommy laugh. Let's all laugh. <laughs> I said, you're a dickhead, Dad. <laughs> Just answer the question, Dad. Who's got the best laugh, Tommy or me? I said, Michaela, it's like me saying to you, who do you love the most, Mummy or Daddy? She went, Mummy. <laughs> I said, well, Tommy's laugh craps on yours, I said. <laughs> well, please I can get a job, you freeloader. Yeah. Now, who's going to win this game, gang? I tell you what, I've got to give a tip before I get off. Look, the head says Geelong, the heart says St Kilda. 
The lung says Geelong, the kidney says St Kilda. The liver says Geelong, the intestine says St Kilda. So it's come right down to my ass. It's going to be a tight one, ladies and gentlemen. May the best team win. Thank you very much. Very good. Hey, very, very good. How are you, Tony? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. It's, uh, no, it's just like you never tire of it and you just keep coming up with fresh material uh, and we'll see some of that in your new show. That's right, a new show on Nine starts October 11 called The, the Great Aussie Cook-Off, hosted by Silvani and Sorrenti. Something going wrong yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, we look forward to that and uh, you've given us your tip, so what, what else is on for the rest of the day? I've got a very busy day today. I've got uh, another four gigs before the game starts yeah. and uh, I've got to get to the next one quick before that Colonel Gaddafi gets on. He goes on forever that time. <laughs> All right, no worries. Well, I can tell you, Vince, stick around because some of the the game's greats have hung up their boots this year and as we go to the break we pay tribute to those fellas.